Finnegan? Is today your third birthday? My friend Moosey and I want, and great uncle Alan, want to wish you a happy birthday. And because we just installed a story on the storybook trail at Greater Lovell Land Trust Teaser River Reserve in Lovell, Maine, we thought we'd read that story to you. And because we couldn't do this when your cousin Andrew turned three a couple of months ago, a few months ago, we're doing it for him as well. And of course, for little Max, who's a moose too, isn't he? Maxine Moose. So follow me and let's go along on the storybook trail. Yep. So here's our book, Moose of Course, written by Lynn Plord. She's actually a main author and illustrated by Jim Solers. There was a boy who headed north, wanted to see moose, of course. So here's our next selection. He rode a bicycle built for deuce in hopes of sharing it with a moose. He honked his horn and yelled, here moose. What joined him instead was a peddling goose. Bonkity bonk, a bike built for deuce. Honkity honk, a peddling goose. The boys stopped at a sporting goods store and asked for a bottle of their best moose lure. A worker there just shook his head, suggested the boy, do nothing instead. Do nothing, he cried. That's, that'll serve no use. If I can't buy a lure, then I'll be a girl moose. He dressed himself up in some stilts and a hide, added some lipstick, then sashayed outside. He batted his lashes, gave a big aroo, but all he heard back was a mighty moo. Bonkity bonk, a bike built for deuce. Honkity honk, a peddling goose. A rooty roo, a boy who sashayed. Mooity moo, a bill bull who was swayed. <laughs> Into a pet shop, the boy stopped for feed to buy pond fronds, a favorite moose weed. The pet shop owner shook her head, suggested the boy do nothing instead. Do nothing, he cried. No way, I can't. If you don't sell me moose weeds, then I'll find my own plants. He picked and gathered some greenish weeds, then wrapped himself up from his nose to his knees. Holding his breath, he took a dip, but fish, not moose, started to nip. Bonkity bonk, a bike built for deuce. Honkity honk, a peddling goose. A rudy roo, a boy who sash sashayed. Mooity moo, a bull who was swayed. Glubbity glub, a boy who was dipped. Nibbity nub, a fish who nipped. Here's the best one, the best page in the book. At a hardware store, the boy asked for a noose, one rugged enough to catch a big moose. But that store clerk just shook his head, suggested the boy do nothing instead. Do nothing, he cried. Never, you'll see. I'll make my own trap. The moose won't go free. He spliced and he nodded his gigantic snare. Beware the moose who stepped in there. But he triggered the trap with his own big toe. The snare went whoosh and he yelled, Whoa! Bonkity bonk, a bike built for deuce. Honkity honk, a peddling goose. A rudy roo, a boy who sashayed. Mooity moo, a bull who was swayed. Glubbity glub, a boy who dipped. Nibbity nub, a fish who nipped. Bangity bop, a gigantic snare. Whooshity whoop, a boy in the air. <laughs> So there the boy hung from the tree, couldn't get down, 
couldn't get free. Upside down, he shook his head and muttered, I'll do nothing instead. A little lull, a pause, a stare, a gaze, a gawk. Look, what's there? What do you think was there? Let's go find out. Come on. <gasps> oh, a whole family of moose, a bull, calf, and cow. Mosey down out. The boy shouted, wow. Bonkety bonk, a bike built for deuce. Honkety honk, a peddling goose. A rudy roo, a boy who sashayed. Mooity moo, a boy who was swayed. Glubity glub, a boy who dipped. I think it was the bull who <laughs> was swayed. Glubity glub, a boy who dipped. Nibbity nub, a fish who nipped. Bangity bop, a gigantic snare. Whooshity wop, a boy in the air. Posity paws, a bull, calf, and cow. Gawkity gauze, a wondrous wow. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yes, there was a boy who headed north. He finally did see moose, of course. The end. Goodbye to Finnegan and Andrew and Max. Yay! A rudity roo Happy birthday to you from greatest auntie and Uncle Alan, too. Plus Maxie Moose. Happy birthday, guys. Love you all. Bye from Maine.